It is quite a nice treasure chest. Let's open it up then. Are you going to open it for me? Oh, goodness me. You've certainly been busy, haven't you, Captain Clumsy? Can I show it to the children? Oh, should we have a look then, children? Are you going to hold it up to them? I don't think they can quite see. I think we might have to take the things out. Oh, Captain Clumsy, I can see now why you thought this might help me. With the teaching, it will be super for a maths lesson. Yes, you quite like maths, don't you? Well, that's good. Captain Clumsy has brought me lots and lots of 3D shapes. Oh, brilliant. This is brilliant because it means we can talk about 3D shapes and learn about them by just looking in this treasure chest. Oh, fantastic. Should we have a look? What's this first one? Oh, it looks a bit like a ball, doesn't it? Now, children, there's lots of 3D shapes in here. So should we just have a little think about what a 3D shape is? Now, if, hey, you, you need to be concentrating because this is important. 
Yes, hmm, goodness me, so silly. A 3D shape is a fat shape. A 2D shape is a flat shape. A 2D shape you can't pick up. It might be like a circle or a square or a rectangle or a triangle drawn on a piece of paper and it is flat. You cannot go and pick it up. Whereas a 3D shape is fat and chunky. It means you can go and grab it and you can get 3D shapes of all different sizes. And if you stop for a moment and look around you, I bet you can see loads of 3D shapes. Everything in the room that you're sitting in is probably a 3D shape. So some shapes are small and you can go and pick them up. Other ones are quite big. So, for example, if you had a wardrobe, <laughs> that's going to be quite a big one. You probably can't pick that one up so easily, can you? <laughs> no. So you can have big shapes and small shapes. But we've got some small ones in here, which is good, because if they were too big, I probably wouldn't be able to pick them up, would I? <laughs> no. So this one is like a ball. It is a 3D shape. Can you see I've grabbed it? So I know it's 3D, not 2D. This is a ball. It's nice, isn't it? It looks a bit like a circle. But because it is 3D, we don't call it a circle. Do you know what we call it, children? We call it a sphere. It's a little bit of a tricky word, that isn't it? But we say sphere. Can you say it for me? Sphere. Very good. So this is a nice chunky one. It looks a bit like a circle, but remember it's 3D. So things like this might be a ball or an orange or an apple. They're quite good, aren't they? You like that one? Good, should we put it down there? Shall we see what the next one is? Oh, this is looking super duper, isn't it? Oh, let's look at... I want to get one from the bottom. Oh, this is a nice one. It's red again, another, another red shape. Now, children, this to me looks a little bit like a rectangle. What's that? Absolutely right. Well done, Captain Clumsy. A rectangle is a 2D shape, whereas this shape is 3D because it's chunky. Can you see? It's a chunky fat shape, which means I've been able to grab it. So if I can grab it, that means it is 3D. This shape here is called a cuboid. Did you know that? Yes. It's a nice one, isn't it, a cuboid? It's like a chunky rectangle. But did you know, children, there is another name for this shape as well. You could call this a rectangular prism. But if I were you, I would just know it as cuboid. A cuboid is an absolutely fine way to say it. Oh, good stuff. What else have we got? Oh, look at this. Hey, this is a little bit like the sphere, isn't it? It looks a bit like it, except it's half of it. Where's the other half? <laughs> it's only a half. So this one we call a hemisphere, a hemisphere. Now, this shape's probably a little bit harder um, to think where we might find it. It reminds me a little bit of a bell. Do you remember that bell you brought to me a while ago? And when I pressed the top of it, it made a sound. Well, that was good fun, wasn't it? And that um, is a little bit like this shape, isn't it? This is a hemisphere. Oh, should we see what else there is? This is brilliant. There's so many lovely shapes in here. What's this blue one? Oh, this is nice, isn't it, children? Now, to me, that looks a little bit like a square, doesn't it? But a square is 2D, where this shape is 3D because it's chunky and I can grab it. It is a fat, chunky shape. So it's definitely 3D. And what we call this, children, is a cube. This is a cube. Now, you know when you roll the dice when you play a game? That is a cube. So if I put lots of little dots on this and rolled it, it could be like a dice. It's a bit like it's like a box, isn't it? Oh, yes, there are lots of other shapes. Should we keep looking, children? Should we see what else we've got in here? Oh, this is a nice shape, isn't it? Can you see that, children? My goodness me, this looks a little bit like a hexagon. But remember, children, it's a chunky shape. I can grab it so it's not a hexagon because a hexagon is 2D, whereas this is definitely 3D. 
So what do we call it? You know this one? Oh good, well done you. This is a hexagonal prism. Now this shape is a little bit harder to find around our house if we were looking for this kind of shape, but it's a nice one to know. You might have this in your maths lessons at school, children. A hexagonal prism. Ooh, what else is there? Oh, this is an unusual shape. Hang on a minute, if I turn it like this, it looks like a pyramid. You know, like the pyramids that we can get in Egypt, children. You might be learning about Egypt at school. Hey, it looks like a triangle, but it's chunky. Now look at the bottom of it. It's a square, isn't it? So we call this a square-based pyramid because there's a square at the base of it. It is a square-based pyramid. Whereas this type of pyramid here, this red one, it looks very similar. It is another 3D shape, but look at the base of it. Could I say this was a square-based pyramid? No, why not? That's right, Captain Clumsy. It's because the base of it is a triangle. So we would call it a triangular-based pyramid. If there was a square on the bottom, that's when we would say a square-based pyramid. But because there's a triangle on the bottom, we say a triangular-based pyramid. Oh, super duper. What else is there? Oh, this is a nice shape. Again, very chunky, so it's still looking at 3D shapes. Look at this. Hey, there's a circle on that side. And there's a circle on that side. This, children, is called a cylinder. This is like a little bit um, like a kitchen roll or a Smarties tube. Oh, I would like some Smarties right now. Oh, you would do. It's a shame we don't have any. I'm sorry about that, Captain Clumsy. But yeah, this is a bit like um, a Smarties tube. Can you see? It's nice and round, isn't it? Oh, that's a nice shape. Um, what else have we got in here? Oh, this is interesting. Hey, look, there's a triangle. This is called a triangular prism. That's interesting, isn't it? Triangular prism, that last one. It was a bit like a block of cheese, doesn't it? Oh, there's one more. Should we see what it is? Oh, this is a nice one. It's got a nice point at the top, hasn't it? This is called a cone, children. This is a cone. And can you see it's nice and round all the way around it? And what, what shape's on the bottom? That's right, it's a circle. So this is called a cone. We have looked at so many different shapes, haven't we? There's quite a lot there. Should we have a little bit of a talk about them in a bit more detail? Now then, the next thing we're going to talk about with all of our 3D shapes are the properties of the shapes. That's something really important. Hey, are you sticking your tongue out? Oh my goodness me. Can you not just sit and be well behaved for one lesson? No, you can't, can you, silly thing? Oh, goodness me. So, yes, we're going to talk about the properties. If you promise to pay attention, goodness. So, the properties of shapes are when we think about three things. That's a good thing to think about first. We think about the faces on a shape, the vertices on a shape, and the edges on a shape. So these are really good things to think about when we're looking at 3D shapes. So let me just talk about what each of those things are. Okay, let's start off with the cube. Now let's start off by thinking about what the faces are. The faces of a 3D shape, children, are the big, chunky, flat bits that you can kind of give a little pat to, okay? So the faces are the are the flat bits of the shape. Let's look at the cube then. How many faces has a cube got? We've got one here, one here, so that's two, three, we've got one at the back, four, and then we've got the side bits, five, six. And let me just zoom that in a little bit to show you. Okay, so those are the kind of the flat bits. Then, as well as talking about the faces, the flat bits, we can also talk about something called the vertices. Vertices is a really good grown-up word, isn't it, don't you think? But basically all it means is the corners. So these corner bits, the sharp bits. So I wonder how many corners are there on a cube like this? So it's a bit like a dice, isn't it, 
into a box, a square box. We've got one, two, three, four. Hang on a minute, we've got all the ones at the back as well, haven't we? So we'll turn it round. Five, six, seven, eight. So this has six faces and we have got eight vertices. Do you remember the third thing that we said that we could look at? It was the edges. Now the edges are these long bits here. The edges are the lines on the shape. So let's look at the lines. Should we count how many there are? We've got one here. One, two, three, four. And then we've got them on the back. So we'll do the back as well. Five, six, seven, eight. But hang on a minute, we've got all the sides as well here. Nine, 10, and the bottom, 11, 12. So the cube has six faces. We had eight vertices and we have 12 edges. So what's really good, children, is to look at all the different 3D shapes and to count those things. Now, knowing the vertices, the edges and the faces really helps you when talking about the properties of shapes. Oh, what's that? Magic coins! Really? How did I miss those? My goodness me, children, Captain Clumsy says that there were also some magic coins in the bottom of his treasure chest. How on earth did I not see those? Goodness me. Oh, I can get them, can I? Oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Let's have a look in this treasure chest, children. Oh, oh, I can hear them. Can you hear them? Where did you get these? Oh, you found them buried under an old palm tree. <laughs> But you were lucky to find them. <clears throat> Do you have a look? Hey, children, these look amazing. Oh, just wait till you see these. Hey, they're gold and shiny. Oh, what do I could buy with these? Oh, Captain Clumsy says I can't buy anything. Oh, they're just for magic wishes. Can I show the children? Oh, they look quite nice. I don't know if they'll show up on the camera. Woo! <laughs> just dropping them everywhere, children. That was silly of me. Can you see them? Oh, they look nice, don't they? Oh, ooh. so what you do, you have to say what you want, like a wish, and then throw them up in the air. And then the wish comes true. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't think that would work. That sounds ridiculous. But you have to be really, really think about it and make a good wish. I don't believe you. I don't think it would work. Oh, you think I'm silly, do you? Oh, well, I don't think I'm silly. How on earth can these gold coins be magic? How do I even know that they're gold? You might have been scammed for all you know, Captain Clumsy. Oh, goodness me. Well, if you insist they work, I'm not so sure. Ah, uh, I'm going to make a wish. Should we see if it works, children? I don't think it will. I think it's ridiculous, but should we see anyway? I'm going to throw these coins up in the air and I'm going to wish. Ooh, let's have a think. I'm going to wish to become a detective. And then maybe I can go on a detective hunt around my home trying to find more 3D shapes. That would be good, wouldn't it? What's that? Yeah, I've got to throw them up and say my wish. Okay, I don't think this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. Here we go. Here are my gold coins. I wish to be a detective so I can go on a 3D shape hunt around my home. Oh, let's see if it works. Here we go. Ooh! Oh, my goodness. My day has well and truly taken a very strange turn. Yes, okay, fair enough. You did say it was work. Well, I think we can safely say, children, that the gold coins are very magical. Oh my goodness, look at me. What am I wearing? Is that a policeman's hat? Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks quite smart, doesn't it? Hey, I've even got a magnifying glass. Hey, and do you know what? I'm sure I have seen a coat like this before on a very well-known detective called Sherlock Holmes. Oh, this is fantastic. 
Oh, children, I've always wanted to be a detective. This is perfect because now I can go on my shape hunt. I can go around my home and see how many 3D shapes I can find. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, yes, okay, Captain Clumsy, you were right. I was wrong. The magic coins obviously work. Hang on a minute. I will be able to turn back to just being normal Miss Charlotte though, won't I? Um, I hope so. Well, for now anyway, children. Hey, do you want to come with me on my shape hunt? Here we go. Oh, look, children, I'm being a good detective. I found a shape I can look at on my kitchen dresser. I have got some oranges. These are sphere shaped. They're a bit like a ball. Look, I can grab it so I know it's 3D because it is chunky. Oh, there's one shape I found then a sphere. Should we see what else we can find? I found a cylinder shape. All these candles are in cylinders. Can you see the glass cylinders? There's a circle on each side and they go all the way round. There's a cylinder. I'm being a very good detective because I can see a shape. That is a cuboid. Look at this little biscuit tin. This is a cuboid. Look at that, can you see it? Oh, very long and chunky, isn't it? That's definitely a cuboid. Oh, I wonder if there's any biscuits inside. Oh, it's empty. I wonder who's been eating the biscuits. Guilty. I found another 3D shape and look, it's a sphere again. It's a globe. Can you see if I turn it, it spins round. This is a sphere. I can see a cuboid hidden here amongst all this jewellery. There's a pile of them. Let's look at this top one. This here is a cuboid. Can you see it is a, a rectangle but it's really, really long. Oh, that's good. That's a nice example, isn't it? It's all very shiny as well. I bet Captain Clumsy would like that for his treasure chest. I've managed to find a cube. Look at this, it's a little cube. It's like a stone. Can you see? It's quite small. It's probably just a bit bigger than a dice. So it's still quite small. But there's another 3D shape, a cube. I have found, as a good detective, a hexagonal prism. Shall I get it down from that tall shelf to show you? I have found a hexagonal prism. It has six edges here and six edges on the other side and it's been stretched out in the middle. This is called an accordion actually and it's a musical instrument but it's a great example of a hexagonal prism. Well that was so much fun wasn't it children? I always love going on a hunt looking for clues and lots of different things. So children what you could do now is your very own shape hunt. You could go around like a detective in your own home and see if you can find some 3D shapes. You could group them couldn't you? You could put all the spheres together on all the cubes Maybe you could find some cylinders and put them in a little group. And if you really want to work hard today, children, you could think very carefully about the properties of shapes, like how we spoke about the edges, the faces and the vertices. Oh, that would be really, really good. Now, I do have one slight worry before I finish our session today. I can't stay as a detective forever, Captain Clumsy. I could really, really do with turning back to just regular Miss Charlotte. So what am I gonna do? Oh, the phone's ringing again. Hey, I bet it's the old wise lady. She'll come back with that answer for the riddle. Oh, gosh, I did tell you it was gonna be all go today. I did have a feeling. Should we see what she says? Hello? Hello, old wise lady. Yes, we knew you were going to, to call back about the riddle. 
Yes. Well, I don't actually know the answer to the riddle. What has hands but doesn't wave? I've no idea. What's the answer? Oh, that's really good. Let me tell the children. It's a clock. Did you get it, children? I hope you did. A clock has hands. It has a second hand, a minute's hand and an hour hand. But they don't wave, do they? They just go round the clock and tell us the time. <gasps> yes. Oh, brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, well, yes, we've had a nice day. Captain Clumsy's come to see me and we've been looking at lots of different shapes. Yes. Well, there was a slight problem because, well, Captain Clumsy brought some treasure and in the bottom of it were some magic coins. And, well, I didn't quite realise, but I used the magic coins and turned myself into a detective. Well, yes, I mean, it has, yes, it has been fun being a detective, but I would quite like just to go back to being normal <laughs> Miss Charlotte. Uh, like, really? You will do that. You can do that. How can you do what? Are you sure? Oh wow! Thank you so much. Yes, I'll have a look now. I know there's something very mysterious about you, old wise lady, but nonetheless, I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye for now. Hey children. Hey Captain Clumsy. You'll never guess what. That is the weirdest thing ever. So the old wise lady says she has been able to put some more magic coins in your treasure chest. I know, I am equally as shocked as you. Yes, I know I emptied the treasure chest. I used all the gold coins. Well, yes, I know there weren't any left. Well, I don't know how she's put them in. Maybe there aren't any. Should we have a look? This is really strange. There's a lot of weird magic stuff that happens here. Well, I never. How on earth has she done that? This is so strange. Children, there are four magic coins in the bottom of the treasure chest. Let me tell you, when I emptied the treasure chest before, there were no <laughs> magic coins left. How on earth has the old wise lady managed to, just from that phone call, somehow get the coins back in the treasure chest? Oh my goodness, let me show you. This is so strange. Who would have thought today's lesson was going to turn out like this? I didn't for definite. There's some more coins. Can you see them? How on earth has she done that? Well, either way, I'm very happy. Now I can just return to normal Charlotte and we can have a little party. I wish to turn back from the detective to normal Miss Charlotte. Here we go. Oh, I hope it comes true. Woo! <laughs> it's worked. It's me. I'm back again. Hooray! <laughs> oh my goodness. What a day this has turned out to be. I've been a detective. We've had treasure. We've had riddles. We've had a little hunt around the house. Oh, this has been great fun. Children, you have been amazing. Well done for super concentration. That's always really good. In fact, I'm going to give you a big thumbs up. Where's my big thumbs up? Here it is. Big thumbs up for you. You've been super duper, especially with all the madness going on today. So remember, go on a little hunt around your home. See if you can find some 3D shapes and then maybe group them and think about their properties. That would be really, really good. But for now, I definitely think that we deserve a party, don't you? We've worked very hard. Let's have a dance. I'll see you next time at the party classroom. Bye. <laughs>